time for me to get up out of this funk. What is up you guys? So I am going to be doing a review today on my pink retro style wireless keyboard and this is chrome plated and all the keys here are pink and I also have a pink wireless mouse as well. I'm going to show you guys how I hook this up to my Mac computer and what I think about the product. With your keyboard, you're going to get a USB charging cord. These two tabs are like a stand to give your keyboard height. This is where you're going to plug in your USB cord to charge your keyboard and your on and off switch. Setting the keyboard up was pretty easy. The first thing you have to do is go to System Preference and turn your Bluetooth off and then back on. Select your keyboard, set Bluetooth keyboard, click on BT 3.0 keyboard and done. The next thing you're going to do is take your mechanical keyboard and hold down FN, the numbers one, two and three and your keyboard is now synced to your Mac. They also provide you with a Bluetooth dongle that you plug into your USB outlet in the back of your computer. I learned later that I don't need to have this plugged in for the keyboard to work. There are 30 different backlighting switches, which is my favorite thing about this keyboard besides the color being pink. All you do is hold down FN and press I and S every time you want to change the setting. I will show you a few of the different settings and then we will get into the wireless mouse. Also, if you don't touch the keyboard within 40 seconds, it will go into sleep mode until you touch it again. Oh, and one more thing. I still periodically have to use my Mac keyboard. I accidentally deleted a file and I had to use the option key and some other things to get the file back. Also, I use my Mac mouse for editing my videos because I can move my finger from left to right for my video clips and you can only scroll up and down on the gaming mouse. On the bottom of the mouse is your on and off switch and a place to hold your Bluetooth dongle. At first look, the aesthetics are amazing on this mouse. You have your scroll wheel, which is the only thing I use, where you plug in your USB charger. What I love is how it lights up in blue, but it only stays like that when it's being charged. Once you unplug it, the color goes away. 
The left click and the right click is silent, but it definitely works. Now about those specs. The mouse is engineered for daily office work as well as gamers in mind. Equipped with multi-level adjustments, advanced plus precise tracking, high-speed DPI switch, and LED lights. It has four DPI levels available from 800 to 3200 DPI. Easily adjust to instantly match mouse speed to different gaming scenarios. My mouse wouldn't sync when I went through system preferences, so I do have to use the Bluetooth dongle at all times in order for the mouse to work. Alrighty, you guys, so that's going to be it for this quick review on my retro style keyboard. I absolutely love my keyboard. I love the clickety clack sound. I love that it is pink and it's chrome plated. I also love my wireless mouse. It actually looks like a transformer, like it's getting ready to transform. It's doing a lot. I love the aesthetics of it everything i don't use the mouse for that much except for left and right clicks but that's basically what i use my regular mouse for is the same thing i know that it's basically for gamers so i know that a gamer would probably love this mouse because of everything that it can do and how fast it moves but yeah that's gonna be it for this video you guys and i will see you on another one